Okay, we got five minutes. Show of hands, we're not starting. I know we've got uh, two and a half minutes yet. How many of you are doing Agile of some kind? Unqualified Agile, almost, wait, let me, all right, let's change that. Who is not doing Agile anything? Uh, ooh, and they're on the front row, look at that. Whether you're doing Agile or not, how many of you are doing retrospectives? Well, why are you here? <laughs> because our retrospectives suck. Ah, well, okay, that wasn't quite what I was looking for, but that will do. You want to learn more about retrospectives, right? Isn't that what re retrospectives are all about? <laughs> yes, maybe we should do a retrospective on the session when we get to the end. What do you think? Maybe. Maybe we should do retrospectives on everything. Maybe even on your own lives. How many do personal retrospectives? All right. Cool. All right, we still have people coming in and... My goal is to get through the presentation part early enough so that you feel you have the time to come up and look at the timeline. It's amazing to me that most people don't do a timeline. I think it's one of the most powerful retrospective exercises there is. And sometimes it's that agile projects don't know how to do them. So that's my goal is to finish early enough so that you have time to come up and read the cards on the floor and maybe add one of your own if you'd like. I think we have a couple of chairs up here in front if we could talk people into putting things on the floor. Well, all right, we'll just do the best we can. If you don't mind sitting on the floor, there are, uh, there's a little bit of space up here in front. I gave your chair away. Um, are you all right with that? Okay. Is it against code? I mean, it would be in the U.S. We could have people sit on the floor in the middle. What do you? Okay. Get some, get, okay, you're bringing in some more chairs. Okay. All right, this is supposed to be a session about retrospectives, and I already did a little survey.